Okay, what's up, everybody? It is Ask Row 13. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know I appreciate your presence. I'm hoping the camera's looking cool because I got a little, I don't know. Let me see. Okay, if I sit back, okay. Let me see. Wait, that's probably a little better. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Okay, my John Doe has come back to visit me. He's left a lengthy me message. I'm just going to pull a little excerpt from it because he's talking about the 21-day challenge that I proposed maybe like a week and a half ago. And we're going to check on his progress. Okay, I'm still with you on the 21 days challenge to anchor a new habit. My challenge is to be and think positively and be happy and to build my self-confidence. I love it. So far, it's been real. Laugh out loud. What I mean is when I first began, it was going well. And maybe that's because of the excitement of starting a new challenge that will better myself in the end. The, dr the adrenaline was going and maybe that helped me to keep my eye on the prize and stay positive with my challenge. As the days went on, I have slipped a bit, but I'm always able to bring my attention back to what I'm doing and what I'm trying to accomplish. And I'm finding that I'm able to do it quicker and easier anytime it happens. Very good. Um, but I got to be honest, it's hard at times, real hard. There have been times when where my thoughts were telling me to just give in and resort back to my old ways, but I refused to. But they have an effect on me because after that, I didn't find it as easy to stay so strongly positive. It almost feels like I've hit a plateau. Everything was going well and now I'm kind of stuck. I'm meditating every day and I'm meditating on being positive and happy and forgiving. In the beginning, I saw immediate results. Now it takes a lot more energy to just uh, to see just a bit of positive result that may last a few moments. I now have to work harder at keeping up a positive, happy attitude throughout the day. Is that normal to hit something like a plateau? If so, do you have any suggestions on how to overcome this does it get better well I would like to say yes uh, I want to congratulate you for taking the challenge and being willing to take yourself to the next level you know um, patience patience <laughs> um, yeah patience is what comes to mind I mean you know I'm sure that the habit that you're trying to kick out um, took a second to get in there so especially when you shift your focus um, in the way that you have to make such a huge shift things can come up almost as if they're challenging you because you made this new choice to get rid of me you know so uh, keep at it you know uh, stay encouraged do you have enough pleasure you know pleasurable um, wonderful triumphant reasons or 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 you know things attached to your desired goals so that you know that where you're going is well worth more than the the little bouts of pain you know that you may deal with or experience along your path um, how strong is your why how strong is your why you know do you have really compelling strong reasons uh, that are going to keep you motivated and push you in moments like these make sure that you strengthen your why and you have enough pleasure attached to your end result and hopefully that will maintain you know your uh, zest to complete your challenge and go beyond I was going to share with you today I've had a pretty interesting day and I literally had to stand in front of my mirror and smile for like <laughs> Five minutes straight. I know that looks so corny and stupid, but at the end of the day, they did this experiment um, a while ago for depressed people. Um, they had them. They would have them go in front of a mirror and they would stand there and smile as hard as they could for 20 minutes. And I don't know if they did it every day or how often. I'm, I almost want to say every day, but I can't remember. But they did this experiment where they would have depressed people stand in front of a mirror for 20 minutes and just smile as hard as they could. I mean, they ended up with like little crow's feet. Um, their face, as you can imagine, would be sore. But I've done, I haven't done it for that long. That's like a long time. But I definitely did it for five minutes. And sometimes it, it'll almost stay with your face. You'll have like this kind of... <laughs> smile and it can work because you're changing your physiology um you know there's a whole other energy that comes with a smile then comes with the frown and, and a depressed you know uh body language you know so um help yourself out shift your physiology shift your focus do you have your tools around you to support you you know books uh, friends, people with uh, you know higher vibration of being, you know positivity. Watch a comedy, bring out a, a cartoon you love, something that's just gonna kind of shift you know your stuff. Remember we talked about breaking your pattern, break up your pattern. You know what I mean? I had to do that for myself today because I was like, whoa, you know what kind of energy am I about to bring to ask grow? Hopefully it's good.
but you know, we're human. We're going to hit some places where everything's not, you know, so good. And uh, we just got to remember that this too shall pass to embrace the moment to be what it is, you know, because that's part of uh, who we are, too. But the more you get in control of your emotional state, um, things will get better. OK, so congratulations for uh, starting the challenge. And I look forward to hearing about more of your success to come. OK, and then you left me some more questions in the box that I'm going to tackle. And then I'm going to be out. OK, because uh, I thought they were pretty cool. Oh, come on. This thing, you know how it does me try to take me offline while I'm doing my ass grow. But I'm going to get back on in a few seconds. Oh, I don't know. I might have to pause and come back. Wait, wait, yay! Okay, so, <laughs> so, here we go. Okay, do you get nervous when it's time to go on stage? If so, or if not, do you have suggestions for those who may and how to overcome it? Yes, I do get nervous when I come, um, before I'm about to go on stage. There are a few things that I do um, when I'm dealing with that. It depends on the venue, too. Uh, one of the things that I do that I don't suggest, <laughs> but I'm just being honest with you guys, sometimes I'll take the edge off with a glass of wine or a little tussin or something, you know. Um, however, I think that being in control of your emotional state is is much more empowering and that is what I stand behind so remember your breath <sighs> you always have your breath it is a very centering empowering tool that you have within you remember you can use that um, also uh, why are you doing it you know for me I know I'm going out there to be of service and hopefully to exchange this incredible energy uh, with the audience you know and to go out there and have a good time another thing embrace what you feel those jittery bugs remind us we're alive and that we're doing what we love, you know, that we're challenging our, ourselves, that we have an, an opportunity in this moment to expand into whatever that is that you choose to be or become more of who you are. So, I mean, use it as a meditation. You can even go to where that feeling is in your body and just focus on it. It might you know, shrink, it might expand, it might dissipate, uh, bring it with you on stage, allow it to become adrenaline and explode, rock the house. Okay, so uh, next question. Your eyes are really healthy white. Are they naturally like that or is it because of the healthy lifestyle that you've adapted? My eyes are not as healthy white looking as yours. And I'm wondering if I can improve that by changing my diet. Well, thank you very much. I uh, haven't really paid attention to that aspect of myself very much. Um, however, I would love to attribute that I have brighter eyes uh, because of my mindset, um, you know, the healthier habits of eating that I've picked up, my mental mindset as well. So yeah, I would like to attribute some of it to that, or if not a lot of it. <laughs> Uh, do you speak any other languages? No, I don't. I would love to. Uh, preferably Spanish because it's the second language of our country. But I've always wanted to learn Italian because I think it's beautiful and I love Italy. And uh, Japanese and German because they have booming music industries. Aside from the fact that I do dig to, you know, visiting those countries as well, I would love to be able to, to go over there and communicate uh, in their language uh, and, you know, just have a good time. If I could leave the planet knowing two languages fluently, I would be super proud of myself. <laughs> So I appreciate your questions. Thank you so much. And hopefully what I've shared with you definitely helps. Um, hit me up if you want, you know, if you want to talk about something else. And I look forward to answering more people's questions next week on Ask Row 14. Have a wonderful one. Peace.